I see something right away. That's something that has eluded me in the store, but we'll get to that in a minute. Hey, what's happening everybody? This is Royce and Pedal Mel. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be checking out another 50 pack of Hot Wheels from Amazon and I will have my affiliate link down below. Uh, right now they have these for $38 and something like that. It's free shipping and you cannot beat that for 50 cars. Uh, this is um, hopefully something brand new for me. Uh, well, uh, odd thing is too, yesterday when it's came you can see here i have the shipping labels it was on my back porch from amazon normally amazon does put it inside of a brown box even though they're usually floating around there very loosely in the box this time this is the first and i think this is probably like my ninth or tenth box i've purchased um this one is the first it's ever come this way which i'm actually surprised that corners don't really look too damaged or anything like that but anyway we'll get started here I think this box design is the same as the one I had before. I like this one on the side here. It looks good. It's that bone shaker. Bone shaker jumping through some hoops. It's the side. And the bottom. So we will get started immediately here. Pretty excited about this. Uh, I did have somebody write me the last time. Actually, I think I had two people write me and said they did find a super treasure hunt in one of these i find that very 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 difficult to believe uh, i'm kind of a type of person i have to see something to believe it and i really kind of i don't know what to make of that but i think there's probably a possibility to find a regular treasure hunt but a super treasure hunt in one of these i've never heard of it until just like i said recently i had i think it was one or two people wrote to me and said they found uh, super treasure i mean it's very well possible uh there was a photo going around on instagram recently of someone who found a super treasure hunt in a 20 pack i believe it was uh something like that in the store i took pictures of it and everything and it looked pretty legit so who knows though let's see how we can maybe we can put the box like this and this these videos are actually pretty popular uh, surprisingly enough, I think people people seem to really enjoy these, so we're going to get started right away. I see something right away. You guys probably see it as well right here. That's something that has eluded me in the store, but we'll get to that in a minute. All right, so starting with, uh, with the custom Ford Mustang GT. Very cool. Uh, what I like about these 50 packs from Amazon, and you guys are probably in the same boat as me or maybe the same camp i don't know what the expression is but that you probably like the short cards i like the short cards i think they're easier to store uh in my tubs my totes and all that if you're not going to be opening them up it's kind of cool and it's just cool to see them because we don't here in the united states we just don't see the short cards very often sometimes at some of the dollar uh discount places you, you'll see them Uh, no super treasure hunt, but there we have another one has, which has eluded me in the stores, this green Cougar, the 68 Mercury Cougar. It looks awesome in the Flame series. Looks really nice. But like I said, once again, that's another one. Uh, that, that one and what would probably be the other one that could possibly be in here would be the Audi R8 uh, convertible treasure hunt, possibly. The GeoTerra, which I took pictures of this on my Instagram uh, a few weeks back. I thought it was kind of interesting in the red camouflage. I mean, the wheels are actually really decent, too. You want to steal the wheels off of it for a project. I think the wheels for basic wheels and tires look really good. A uh, 49 Ford F1. Looks really good. I don't know if I've ever seen those this particular paint pattern, paint scheme with those tires. It's got like white walls. Um, I can't. Is it white walls on it? It looks like it, right? Let me grab my magnifying glass. Yeah, it's got it's 
got white walls on it. I have I can't see half the time. There's kind of a glare here. I couldn't tell if it was just a white stripe around the wheels, but it's definitely got both a white stripe around the wheels and the white walls. That is very cool. Uh, another old truck, 52 Chevy, and it's got like a rusted patina flames paint job on it. It's kind of interesting with the bronze uh, lips of the wheels. That's pretty cool. I always go opposite of the, the camera. It's very difficult because everything's in reverse sometimes. I always forget that, but there you go with the truck. Moving on. Oh, there's a recolor here in... Uh, I thought it was going to be more of a Ferrari red, but this is like a, what would you call that, candy apple, like a yeah, candy apple red, this Nissan R390 GT1, and it's got front and rear tampos on, it looks pretty good. Really cool to see that in the short card. I have yet to see this in this color. Um... The recolor, like I said, I was thinking it was supposed to be like a brighter red. I didn't know it was more of a burgundy. It might look brighter here on the screen, but it's definitely in person, kind of like a burgundy red. There's another recolor, the uh, 82 Dodge Rampage. Black with orangish red stripes. Not too bad looking. Uh, another recolor because that's the rocket oil special that's in another I haven't seen that in the that particular paint scheme with those wheel uh, colored wheels and all that um, this I did buy extras because I did want to do a video customizing one of these and I just never got around to it yet I still would love to really do one of these up I've seen a few on Instagram it turned out pretty decent as well with a little bit of work. Uh, Grand Cross, and that is pretty cool. It's got like track patterns on the tampos. That's pretty cool. Not too bad looking. It's fictional, obviously. I'm not really into the fantasy stuff too much. So usually a lot of these, like I'll donate uh, to the local hospital and or give them out to the kids in the neighborhood. Another fantasy one, the Vicinator. I'm not even sure if I just said that right, but does it matter? Probably not. Kind of interesting. Another fictional one, Ford Force. It's got some wild like pinstripe details on it. I don't know if I should get closer or further away, but either way. I don't know if I've ever seen that one. So yeah, so here's the Audi R8. This one, the convertible, the blue convertible has eluded me in the stores. And if we're gonna have a super treasure hunt there, this this would be nice to have it in. Uh, it looks great from what I've seen, pictures of it. So that's cool to have because I think I have, what, did they make white, I believe, in it? The convertible, white and red. I have the yellow ones, I know, but pretty cool. Oh, there we go. There's another one. I've never seen that in the store. The Golf uh, livery on the 67 Oldsmobile 442. That looks pretty cool. I'm digging that. It looks nice. You guys have to let me know down below. Comment what do you think of these 50 packs. I had quite a few questions the last time. It was only a few weeks ago when I did the other one. People said, how come you had so many doubles in that? Is that common? Is that normal? Um, and it is not common. It's not normal. That was very unusual to get as many doubles as I did on that. 
Robo race. I don't know what the deal is with that. If it's for high schools, like a apparently, or I don't know what you want to say, but it's electric car. And then I guess that somebody owns the name, the Ro Robo race name, because it, it appears to be licensed. I almost said this is fictional, but I don't believe it is. So I don't know if it's maybe for competition or what the deal was with that. I have no idea. There it is. All right, we have another recolor of an Erickenstein rod in a light blue color. Doesn't look too bad. Not too bad, not too shabby. Here's another one that's eluded me in the store. Uh, M case, the white Honda looks absolutely beautiful. And I'm not even really into Hondas, but this thing is absolutely incredible. Uh, front tampos, we got rear tampos, red interior is perfect. Absolutely perfect for basic white wheels. Um, this thing is just great. I love that. Uh, it is what, a 99 Honda Civic Type R EK, or does that say EN? EK9, I don't know if that's the motor or the type of the internal build number, EK9. But wow, does that thing just spectacular right out of the box. I mean, look at that thing. I mean, it looks like a $5 toy, not a dollar toy. I mean, it's great. Beautiful. So that one is awesome to have in a short card. I have a feeling that'll probably be uh, collectible in the future, that one, for sure, especially with the the Japan package and everything. It just it looks really, really beautiful. Really, really great. Awesome to have that. Uh, this is the one I saw right away Open up the box. There's another one I've never seen in the stores yet. The Bugatti EB110 Super Sport. 1994. Looks really good. Love it in that cyan blue. Does have tampos front and back. Looks beautiful right out of the gate. Right out of the gate, right out of the pack. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Whatever I want to say. Sometimes I get flustered. Uh, I do not do voiceovers later on. So <laughs> I usually talk as I'm doing these and to because I don't have hardly any time in my life for anything. So um, I do not go back. I don't go back and do voiceovers. So what you hear me talking is as I'm, I'm holding and rattling the packages and everything else. Isn't that awesome? And plus having the short card, I think that's, uh, I mean, I want to tear this one open, but yet I don't really want to tear it out open because of being a short card. Next up, we have GT Scorcher, which this kind of reminds me, this is obviously fictional. I've never seen that. Didn't even know it was coming out. How cool was that, though? It kind of reminds me of that uh, Tamika-sponsored Toyota race car from the 80s. I don't know. It's got, like, the wide... Um, I guess that was a Celica race car. I don't know why, but it just reminds me of, like, an IMSA body kit on. That thing is really cool. Almost looks like an older Chevy Monza uh, silhouette racer. It's got wraparound glass. It's a pretty interesting design here. I've never seen that. You guys have to let me know down below. Have you guys seen many of these cars? I haven't. I mean, this is all new to me. GT Scorcher. I've never even heard of it. Pretty freaking wicked, though. That's pretty cool. Turtle! We got the turtle shell in chrome in the Street Beast series. I thought it was called like Turbo Turtle or something like that. Turtle shell. Turtle shell? Do they have two different ones? I thought there was one was called Turbo Turtle or something. There you go. My daughter will like that, I guess. Uh, Fusion Busta. I have. Not even sure if I've ever seen that in a store. Kind of strange, fictional one. Not sure what's going on with the big hood scoop and all that, but 
There it is. Kind of strange. Oh well. All right, bat plane. I believe this is in new color scheme. It's like a satin black with red pinstriping. Looks pretty, pretty wicked. Pretty cool. I'm trying to not get so many much glares here on the packs. Pretty cool. Not too bad. Not too bad. All right, Mad Splash. And this is in the HW race team. It's a cigarette boat or whatever. It's a race boat. And what's weird about it is the clear base is the waves with wheels. Yeah. I don't know. It doesn't do much for me personally, but I can understand. I guess kids might think it's pretty cool. It's a little weird. But there, you can see it's all clear. Clear underbelly there. Pretty interesting. Not my cup of tea, but all right. Ducati Scrambler Hot Wheels Edition. And it's in a military green. I've never seen that in the store. So I guess this is also probably a new M case. Looks to be an M case, I think is what it says on the back here. I think my dog wants out. She's like whimpering. All right, in the HW Rescue Series, we have the 96 Chevy Impala SS, and it is a Fire Chief vehicle. Have you guys seen any of these? I believe this is M case. I think almost all these are M case here, I believe. It's pretty wild. There's another HW. Rescue the uh, 2015 Dodge Charger SRT, and that is in a wild livery there. <laughs> Pretty wicked. There's another one. There's another rescue one. Another one that I've seen pictures of on Instagram. But I've never seen it in person. I think it's kind of hideous myself but um, it's different the Aston Martin 177 uh, I believe it's supposed to be um, a response vehicle I guess for uh, Le Mans or wherever at the racetrack it's like a weird ochre yellow color though all right 2017 Ford F-150 Raptor in a beautiful beautiful paint scheme love that color it looks great it's like a really dark wine color guys have to let me know down below you guys have any favorites or whatever these any of them that you like here's another recolor uh this has eluded me i haven't i have not seen that in the store yet the silver 500e mercedes that looks pretty cool I think I might like the silver now that I'm seeing it in person a little bit better than the black. The black definitely looks wicked though with a wheel swap on it. Uh, has tampos front and back. Really impressive for a 99 cent vehicle. That looks cool. That's a keeper there. Now we have a fantasy one, Praying Manus. I don't know if I've ever seen that. That's it's actually kind of got the shape of a praying mantis when you look at it from the look at it from the top down. So strange. I don't know about the red. Maybe green would have been cool. Uh, his head with the eyeballs or the uh, headlights there. That's really strange. It's different. But that'll probably end up at the local hospital. I can't see myself holding on to that. All right, another short card. And this one I have. I do keep finding this in the store. Uh, the custom 70 Honda N600. Card art looks a little more yellow than the actual car that's in the pack. But that looks really nice. It has Tampa's front and back on that one as well. I think we're going to all start getting spoiled here. With Some of these are just, they've been doing such a great job with them. 
All right, there. I don't know if I've seen this one in the orange or not yet. I have the bright blue one in the then and now uh, 21 for Bronco in the new recolor orange. I don't, I don't know if I have this one or not in the long card. I know I have it in the blue in the long card. Doesn't look too bad. That vehicle is going to be absolutely incredible when it comes out. Uh, there's a lot of sport versions that run around my neighborhood here, but they are just cheesy compared to the uh, top dog one when it comes out. It's going to be, it's going to be a really impressive vehicle. Uh, eruption is like an airplane thing where the wings fold out. Fancy casting. You know, not that big of a deal. We're at 20 minutes now, so I'm gonna try to let me try to speed this up a little bit here and move this along. So we're only like halfway. La Troca was black last time with gold pinstriping this recolor. It's like a oh I guess it's supposed to be pearl white. I think it's supposed to be pearl white in this art car series with the gold. Doesn't look too bad. La Troca. Uh Pixel Shaker, which is like the bone shaker version of the uh, blockiness whatever you want to say Tricera truck looks like a moving toaster if you ask me I don't know it's hideous I won't spend much time on some of them because they're just hideous to me I don't know uh, mad manga this looks really good I think in these colors like it's very uh, comic book looking in the art car series i think that one looks good and is it how you pronounce it the bazooka cars or whatever from japan i forget how you say that but that guy f spot here on uh, youtube he has one it's pretty wild all right we'll move on to another one here we got this kia 2019 kia stinger gt and another recolor this is black doesn't do much for me especially in that color but it's okay. We got another fantasy casting. See me rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Kind of weird looking one. Looks kind of like a trolley or something going down the road. I don't know. It's weird. I have no idea what that's supposed to be. Oh, look. It's got... I didn't notice that. It's got dice. Okay. That's weird. It's like a steamroller rear end on. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's got dice. It's got dots printed into the roller. And as you go around, I guess you get different numbering system or whatever. I don't know. It's weird. Okay, moving on. 67 Camaro in the recolor of the gold with the worldwide. I always want to say world, worldwide pants. I don't know if anyone remembers that or not from... David Letterman show his company production company is called Worldwide Pants. Every time I see his Worldwide, whatever it's just supposed to be, I just think of David Letterman. But actually, doesn't look too bad in the gold. It reminds me of like an an old cigar box label. Um, but the one I seen this on Instagram, I didn't. It was like ugh, puke, puke, puke. I don't know. It didn't it didn't do anything for me. But seeing this in person, I must say the gold actually doesn't look too bad. All right, we got another repaint of Ain't Fair uh, bus. Really, this bus is really nice. I think I think I have a couple different ones of it. Did they have blue and then they had a the bright green, I believe? Um, really nice. It's a really nice bus. It's got like a bicycle uh, parked on the front bumper there. Really nice. I could you know picture being a youngster playing with the city and the city scene and having these buses around pretty cool 87 buick regal gnx with the uh what's the logos on the side it's pretty bad black widow exhaust i never even heard of i gotta be honest with you i never heard of black widow exhaust but there is the regal gnx i'm sure that's uh gonna be sold after maybe someday in the short card i don't know but i've just never heard of that exhaust is that apparently it's a a licensed a licensed company according to the back of the pack so i've never heard of that company 
muscle and blown um, these are filling up the dump bins left and right in that it's like a bluish gray color i think it's pretty cool it reminds me of like a new supra um kind of like a mad max version of the new supra and it, it, i think it's pretty cool but it's definitely clogging up the dump bins uh, here's another one. I've never seen this in person. I think I've only seen one picture ever on Instagram. This Nissan Leaf Nismo RCO2. Wow, this thing is cool. I think this is pretty neat. Keep going opposite. I'm sorry. Pretty cool, though. I've never seen that in a store. Pulling it out of the box, if you look especially at the illustration there, I thought it was a new Cadillac. Like the grill. Kind of, I thought it was a Cadillac pulling it out. Here's another one that keeps eluding me in the store. It looks absolutely beautiful. The red Sylvia Nissan S13. Red with those white wheels. Looks absolutely spectacular. We have front and back tampos on it. Beautiful. Beautiful car. That is... That looks great. What do you guys think? That's a keeper. And a short card. Really awesome. There's another one that's eluded me in the store. The recolor of the white 914 Safari Porsche. Or Porsche, however you prefer to say it. I think the family actually, go, actually they, they call each other, they say Porsche. But, so I try, to, I try to correct myself, but I still say Porsche a lot of times. I don't like when people mispronounce my last name, but oh well. So there you go, that's white and that looks pretty good in the white, I think, with the chrome-lipped wheels. Uh, I think I like that better than the PlayStop blue one and what other, whatever the other colors were and I originally think it was a yellow. There's another one I've never seen, the 70s van with the Space Jam theme. Thankfully, LeBron James. Oh, is he on there? I think he is on the side. I say, hopefully, he's not on there. He doesn't do anything for me personally. But there you go. That's pretty cool to have. Another one I've never seen in the store yet is the uh, Liberty Liberty Walk or LB Works, as it says here. Lamborghini Huracan Coupe. That looks pretty good in those colors. It's like a desert camouflage pattern, it looks like. But it has the Mad Mike. Is that what that is up here at the top? And I gotta be honest, we have freaking no idea who that is. I know some of you guys that probably live in California go cuckoo crazy over these guys, but I've never heard of him. So I'm not sure what Mad why Mad Mike has his name on the back here. So we get the back we have all rotiform. I'm looking at the uh, names, which are so small. We have Liberty Walk, Toyo Tires, Mad Mike, Rotiform, Lamborghini, of course, LB Works, which I guess is a subsidiary, maybe, I would assume, of uh, Liberty Walk, and then there's LB Performance. But I got to tell you, I have no idea who Mad Mike is. I don't really care either. But there we go. That's pretty cool. Uh, 2015... Miata MX-5 and that is in a recolor. It's like a matte Almost a raw metal gray color Pretty cool I don't know if this is a recolor or not. I don't think it is um, this Subaru STI from 1998 looks nice though in that gray with the gold wheels I have so many variants of that I'm kind of losing track, but I do like that looks nice though in the in that I would call that like a gunmetal gray. I think that looks really nice. And last but not least, we have the AMC Rebel Machine. I've seen that on Instagram, but I've never seen it in person. I don't think the casting's new, it's just the uh that paint scheme is new. It's the casting is de oh it says twenty twenty. Mattel 2020 on the base, and maybe it is a new one casting. You guys have to let me know. Is that a new casting? The Rebel? Stated 2020 on the base. I guess I've never seen it before now that I'm thinking about it. I know I've never seen this livery. Pretty cool. 
So there you go. That's all. If you like like this type of video, give me a thumbs up, share, like, all that good stuff or whatever. And if you guys, uh, what do you think of these videos? You like me when I do you like to open up these fifty packs? You guys like these type of videos? I mean, they seem to be they seem to be pretty popular, so I'll keep doing them. Like I said, I do have an affiliate link down below. I would jump on right now while they're thirty-eight dollars and change, because that's an awesome, awesome deal. I think to get a lot of cool ones on short card. I mean, like this golf one, you'll probably never see that anywhere on short card unless you paid big money on eBay for it. Uh, very cool to have some of these, and like the probably my favorite out of this whole box. You guys have to let me know down below. Do you have a favorite out of this box? Mine is probably this Bugatti. I just think that is just so freaking awesome. Uh, that one in, I would have to say the white Honda, which I don't even know what I did with it now. The white Honda has got to be one of my favorites too, I think. Yeah, I think these two are my favorites out of the whole box. The whole kit and caboodle there is those two. Really awesome. Both are just great. Great, great, great. So there you go. If you're not a subscriber, please consider it's free, can't be free, and hit the bell for notifications. And until next time, I will see you guys later. You guys have a good night as I run out of breath. All right, you guys have a good night. I'll talk to you later. Bye now.